There's a lot happening in the world at the moment. The President of the United States might end up in jail. Global warming is hacking worryingly big parts of the ice cap apart. And we're being run by an unelected government. But the thing that has galvanised everyone and has got everyone talking, the one really important issue that has got everyone off their asses and onto Twitter is the fact that the 13th Doctor in Doctor Who has been announced. Now you may have seen some of the uproar on social media about the fact that it is a new gender for the Doctor. The Doctor has always been a male and it has been cast as a female. For me personally, when I watched the reveal, didn't even occur to me that it was a lady playing the Doctor. It literally was uh, the camera panda and I was like, ah, it's the mum from Broadchurch. She was good in Broadchurch, should be pretty good in Doctor Who. Wasn't even a big deal. It didn't even cross my mind about the whole gender thing. Wasn't even an issue. But I am just a young lefty Corbynite living in the London bubble who probably knows nothing. So we should probably go to the well of all wisdom to find out the truth on this matter. We're gonna take a look at the Daily Mail. I can't even say it straight face. If anything is an issue, we can blame the left or the immigrants. So, you know, it's just flip a coin in the Daily Mail offices about who we're going to blame today. Your dustbins aren't being emptied on time. Not the council's fault, probably the immigrants. Swans are being eaten on your local park. Blame all the immigrants. No, really, that, that wasn't an exaggerated headline. Like, they actually ran that once. I read that and I was... Uh. But the only thing, the only thing better than Daily Mail articles are the comments on Daily Mail articles. And, oh my gosh, we really do get a true insight into Daily Mail readers' minds and lives. Just while you're watching this and while I'm reading these out, just please bear in mind, these are real people. They are, they are out there. These are real people functioning in our society. And with that, let us begin. She should be called Nurse Who. I, because, yeah. Because in their right wing mind, traditionally men are doctors and women are not so no. Okay, that's just one person. Like, come on, let's give them a chance. Oh, for heaven's sake, let the majority population have something we can call our own. I mean, come on, guys, just stop being so unreasonable by casting a female lead. Let some degree of segregation exist. Come on. From ethical vegan liberal. N Based in Shoreditch, <laughs> not helping yourself there, especially on the Daily Mail website. You're not going to make friends with that that uh, metadata. We need a doctor with a different cultural background. Interesting debate. Interesting debate. It's always been a white doctor. Interesting debate. Post that on the Daily Mail website. Twelve upvotes, 138 downvotes. Slammed ethical vegan liberal from Shoreditch on a Daily Mail site. Who'd have thought you were going to get harpooned for that? Ellipsis. We're starting the sentence with ellipsis here. This is from Lens Lens in London. We're starting the paragraph with an ellipsis. Great start. The doctor is not a T rans gender or T rans actual. Comma. Make sure you get the grammar right. Apart from which, we don't want the TARDIS turning into a lady's wardrobe. Am I? Yeah, I'm reading it right. It just doesn't make sense. However, 313 upvotes, 51 downvotes. 313 people who read the Daily Mail read that comment and were like, you know what, I'm going to go through the effort to like that. I actively agree with that statement. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I actually highly enjoy strong female characters in Doctor Who. I just can't watch if they go PC with the Doctor. I like ladies' roles in Doctor Who, but if they are anything more than a secondary or side character, count me out. Count me out. I'm boycotting this series that I regularly enjoyed for years and years. I love the series. And I'm all for strong female characters. But if you have one in the lead, then mm -mm, my loyalty is gone. I mean, I, I mean, I can, I can see the logic. I mean, that's a very reasonable stance to take. It's not. I, let's just go over the second part of that again. I just can't watch if they go politically correct with the Doctor. He's even admitted, he's used the term politically correct. I cannot watch this show 
if they are correct about things, is literally what the sentence says. I also stumbled across this while looking up. Uh, this author, Technically Ron, on Twitter has been an absolute genius and has found his favourite Daily Mail comments and made them into the style of a Doctor Who episode opening board. Nobody wants a TARDIS full of bras. There's a lot of space in the TARDIS. Someone, someone is probably, a real Doctor Who nerd, is probably in the midst of working out how many bras it takes to fill the TARDIS right now. I can almost guarantee that. And you know what? I'm pretty interested in the answer, so I'm waiting with bated breath. The BBC are trying to brainwash your children. I... Do I... It's dangerous to comment on this for me, isn't it? It's... It's a logical con conclusion to jump to. They're, they've cast a female lead, they're trying to brainwash your children. But, I mean, the two just tie together so well. Time travel is for men, and men only. <laughs> it's just comical at this point. And finally, we're gonna end on my all-time favorite. Political correctness should not exist in space. <laughs> Written by Cheryl from Humberside. <laughs> Just the thought that someone has read this Daily Mail article and then formulated that thought in their head and thought, you know what, I'm going to share that online. Political correctness should not exist in space. I mean, I've got my new thing. For recently, whenever I've been feeling sad, I look at the baby that looks like Ed Sheeran, I Google image that and that makes me feel happy again. This is my new favourite one. This is, whenever I'm feeling sad now, political correctness should not exist in space is my new go-to. I might set it as my phone wallpaper. <sighs> Just really quickly, the Daily Mail have followed up this article just to justify everything that they've done so far and uh, the kind of readership that they encourage. Uh, they have justified and followed up this article with another one on the subject titled It's not the first time she's time travelled. New Doctor Who star Jodie Whittaker goes naked for orgasmic sex scene in chilling drama Black Mirror. And here is uh, basically an article of screen grabs from a 2011 episode. They've gone back six years to get stills of the actress who is playing Doctor Who having sex in a TV drama. And they have made, this is an article that they have made. They've got these stills and they've, this is, this is it. This is the headline. This is the backbone of the article. There is literally no depth to it. I, I don't even need to say anything at this point. They're, they're just, they're just tying their own noose at this point. I don't even need to bother. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing Jodie Whittaker in the role anyway, and I'm sure she'll do a smashing job. Thanks for watching. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. <laughs> Your thoughts on my thoughts on the thoughts of the Daily Mail readers. And I'll see you very soon. Bye 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 bye.